Okay, bicycles are often on sale in September. If the regular price of one bicycle is $102.95 with a 15% discount, what is the sale price of the bicycle? Okay, so what we're basically looking for here is, if we know it's 15% off, well, how many dollars off is it? So we're looking for what? What is 15% of $102.95? So if we know what the discount is in terms of dollars, we could subtract it off the, the, the price of $102.95. Okay, so let's see. What, well that's the unknown here, X is, that's our equal sign, 15%, well, if you're right, 15% is a decimal, that's 0 0.15. And we have the word of followed by a number, that means multiplication. Okay, so it's times. And we have the number 102.95. Okay, so x equals 0.15 times 102.95. Let's pop that into the calculator. And that would give us 15.4425, so on, so on, so on. And since we're talking about money, we'll round it to the nearest penny. So that's a discount of $15.44. Okay, so we take the original price of, of $102.95. Now let's subtract off the 15%, which the 15% is $15.44. So that leaves us a final sale price before tax. Final sale price of $87 and let's see, 51 cents. Okay. So that's the final sale price for the bicycle. That does it for number five. Okay, so number six, the regular price of a double roll of wallpaper is $23. But, but, during a May sale, the wallpaper was discounted 30%. What was the sale price of a double roll of wallpaper? Okay, so we have $23 and we're taking off 30%, but we need to know how many dollars that is. So if we have $23, we need to subtract off dollars. So the question is, what is what is thirty percent of twenty three? All right, that's the question. Okay. Okay. So let's see. What? Well, that's our that's our variable x is that is our equal sign 30 percent let's convert that to a decimal that's 0 0.30 0, 0 0.30 okay of now of followed by a number means multiplication and the number is 23 okay so According to the calculator, 0 0.30 times 23 is 6.9. So what does that mean? What does that mean? That means that the 30% discount is $6, let's say $6.90 off. So it's $6.90 off the original price. And the original price is 
And then we're subtracting off the 30%, which is we're subtracting off the $6.90. Okay. So let's take the $23 and subtract off the $6.90. Let's pop that into a calculator. And that gives us a final sale price of $16.10. Okay. $16.10, that about does it for this problem. All right, so let's move on to number seven. Okay, what is the commission? What is the commission from a sale of $420 worth of books if the commission rate is 8%? Well, the commission is 8% of the total amount. Okay, so what we're actually asking for here is what is... What is 8% of the total amount, which is 420? Okay, so what, that's the unknown, what, and what is, is, is the equal sign. 8%, okay, so let's convert that percent to a number. 8% is 0 0.08. When you have the word of followed by a number, that means multiplication. So of is multiply, and the number is 420. Okay, so what is 8% of 420 or x equals 0 0.08 times 420? So let's pop this into a calculator and we get x equals 33.6. So our final answer is $33.60 is the commission. All right, so 8% of $420 is $33.60. Okay, let's move on to the last problem on this worksheet, number eight. Ellen sells $860 worth of clothes and earns $60 and 20 cents a commission. What is the commission rate? Well, the commission rate, we're looking for like, what is the percent? What is the commission percentage? And we know that percent equals part over whole, right? Percent equals part over whole. So in this case, the part, is $60.20 and the whole amount is $860. Okay, so if we put this into a calculator, you know, if you type in $60.20 divided by 860 equals, you will get, let's see, 60.20 divided by 860 you will get 0 0.07. And we have to convert this decimal to a percent. So let's say convert to percent. And the way we convert to a percent is we multiply by 100. Multiply by 100. And we end up with 7%, 0 0.07 times 100 is 7%, okay? So in this case, the permission rate is 7%. All right, that about does it for this problem, and that does it for this worksheet.